All right, we'll go ahead and get started. A reminder, uh, there are no recordings during the press conference. Please silence all cell phones and electronic devices. And then when you get the mic to ask a question, please give your name and affiliation first. We're joined by Texas head coach Mike White and players Alyssa Washington and Mac Morgan. Uh, we'll start with an opening statement from Coach White, go to questions just for players. The players will then leave and then go to questions just for Coach White. So if you have an opening statement. Sure. Well, obviously, it was, uh, it was a good game for us. Um, you know, Florida's a very tough team. We knew they were going to be, you know, the way they've been hitting the ball the last several weeks, it's been impressive. Uh, so I thought Mac Morgan did a great job there going out the first innings, was able to kind of set the tone for the game and then be able to score straight away, something we haven't really been doing. We've always seemed to be coming from behind, but this uh, last series we've been able to score runs early. And uh, as I told the ladies, it's the first trip in seven time, uh, seven seven trips I've made, and first time I've actually won that second game. So <laughs> it feels a lot better to be in this position than in the other. But we know there's a lot of work ahead of us. Um, there's going to be another great teams coming through. Can't get too far ahead of ourselves, and we've got to be ready to play. I will go to questions for players. Front row on the right here. Jacob Richmond, Lone Star Live. Alyssa, I was just curious, how is it the second time around of the Women's Cultural Series and are only – two games in, but uh, how has it felt different for you? Do you feel like the expectations are different for you at all? And how are you trying to live up to those? Yeah, um, coming here my second time, it, again, is a blessing. Um, just being able to finish my career here, I'm so thankful for it. Um, but coming here, we have a lot of girls that haven't been here before. So using the experience that I have, um, sorry, <laughs> using the experience that I have, um, just guiding the girls, I'm helping them calm their nerves. If they're, it is a big stage, so it gets pretty loud. Um, it gets overwhelming. So just being someone who has been there before and um, just someone they could talk to. Sure, we'll go front row left now. Sydney Supley, Sopo America. Alyssa, I got to talk to your mom right after she was given the home run ball, and the emotions were evident. What does it mean to just have her along on this journey with you and to have such a big hit and a huge moment? It means everything to have my mom here. Um, that hit meant more than just the game. It was something I've been wanting to do ever since like my first time coming here um, for my dad. So ha making that hit, um, it was all honor to him. And the ball being given to my mom, um, that just, <laughs> that made my life. Uh, that made my whole career. So that was just a great moment. And for my mom to be there, I know my dad was watching as well, but for my mom to be there and get that ball just meant everything to me. Right. Stay front row left. <laughs> Um, Brady Vernon, South America, um, I guess Alyssa and maybe Mac, you can touch on this afterwards, but just, um, how have you guys really taken pride kind of in the second half on your defense really had really great plays tonight and just focused in on that? Um, yeah, it's just kind of recognizing where we're at on defense right now. Sometimes we make mistakes, but it's just the matter of battling adversity and how we handle it and bouncing back. And Mac was shut or <laughs> Mac was throwing her butt off out there. So just being able to have her back and um, work for her, just it felt great. All right, go front row right. Mac, can you just talk about what was going right for you today? Got a lot of those uh, swinging strikeouts. Uh, how are you seeing Florida? And that's a tough lineup to get through. Can you talk about what went into that? Um, honestly, I was just trying to produce ground balls for my defense because my defense showed up for me and it was my turn to show up for them and I did that and, you know, it was on, my drop ball was working and I was just hitting locations and trying to get my defense to work. More questions for players? Go front right again. Alyssa, can you just talk us through the home run, what you saw on that pitch and how it felt to be able to get your team that big uh, first inning? Yeah, it all just began in batting practice, like recognizing what I'm strong at, um, knowing what I wanted to hunt that game, um, and recognizing like what the pitchers throw, um, the Florida pitchers um, throw. And so like in that at bat, yes, I was hunting my spot, but I just told myself no matter what, just compete. Any more questions for players? Okay, thank you players. Thank, thank you. <clears throat> Questions for Coach White? Sure, we go. Front row left. <clears throat> um, I guess, could you kind of go into why maybe Max drop ball matches up really well with Florida's like bat pass and why she did so well tonight? Can't give away all my secrets. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was, it was, we, I thought that uh, Kilfor threw an excellent game against them the night before, and that kind of played into the decision to to play Mac in that. And then also her just big game experience the last several weeks, she's really stepped her game up. Um, I think I've talked before about challenging her about keeping the ball in the infield and using her defense, and she's been able to do that. So it's one of those ones where, you know, hey, we start her, 
Uh, we've got others in the wings waiting to come in if we have to. Um, but, you know, the way she started. And truthfully, uh, it's, a game, it's a game of inches. I mean, they hit a couple of bullets in that first one. You know, Ashton made a nice diving play. There's a couple other hard hit balls. Sometimes the game, the ball just bounces your way, and tonight it was our day. All right, stay front row left. Coach, how much do you feel like just overcoming a lot of obstacles and tough battles in Super Regionals prepared your team for this moment to come out and just compete in such a large way? Well, you sure hope. I mean, they talked about the adversity, you know, builds character. So, you know, we hope that's what happens because it was really tough, uh, Super Regional, uh, extremely tough. Uh, we were able to kind of persevere being down multiple times, and you hope that builds the character. But I like much better being out in front right now. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a lot better on my hair and my, uh, and my gray. So. All right, we'll stay front row left with uh, Jake. Yeah, Jake Trotter, ESPN. Uh, Mike, the other day, Patty Gasso was weighing in on how she feels sad about uh, the Pac-12 going away because what, it, what it's meant to, to softball. Spinning that forward, could you weigh in on what the SEC is going to be like we already know what it is as a conference when you guys in, in, in Oklahoma join the league uh, next year. Well, I mean, if uh, last weekend's anything to go by, it's going to be a really, really tough hoe, you know, to go through. And, um, you know, I can see you having, you know, 15 losses in that conference, you know, and still do pretty well. <laughs> I mean, with throwing Oklahoma in there as well. Um, and, you know, all softball's getting better. Um, you know, so it's changing the way we think as coaches. I think we're having to use multiple pitches. Uh, we've been blessed with that. We, we barely made the cut for making all region by having 100 innings pitched. Okay, that's how much we used our pitches. Um, you know, so I think we may have to re rethink that uh, criteria for, uh, you know, All-American. Uh, you know, because some, you know, some teams are obviously using their pitches a lot, but we've been able to use uh, multiple pitches. So, um, you know, but going into that conference, it's, again, that's next year. But uh, it's going to be very tough, and I'm just hoping that it uh, elevates the game of softball. There we go, front row right now. Coach, could you talk about the impact that Katie Stewart has on the offense and how you've seen her grow throughout this season to the point where she can come up with two huge hits in the World Series, in the Women's College World Series? Yeah, she could be like the unsung hero. Not that she's not unsung, but, I mean, sitting behind Reese because obviously Reese uh, wouldn't see many, many pitches. They would just walk if we didn't have a productive hitter behind her. And uh, Katie's been able to do that. Uh, she had some little ups and downs, but she's working hard on her game. Uh, excellent athlete, got a cannon for an arm. We could put her at catcher and we wouldn't lose anything. Uh, you know, and she's having to work at first base and that's been a struggle for her to tell you the truth, but she hasn't said anything about it and she's worked her way through it and, and, uh, and she's getting more comfortable over there. There we go, front row left. Um, I think Mia hit her six home runs at the start of the Big 12 tournament. She kind of had a sack bun earlier. Just. How much does she really add to this lineup and just even that power stroke lately really helping out? Uh, truthfully, Mia doesn't know how good she really is. I think Mia could hit a home run just almost on will. I mean, but she just wants to hit the ball the other way a lot of times. It's, she's an uh, incredible athlete, one of the best ones I've coached. Um, but Mia does what Mia wants to do. She's kind of a wild card, and that kind of makes her, you know, that's the way she works, you know. So uh, I'm respective of that, and as long as she stays within the team rules and what we expect of her, uh, she's a great player to coach. Any more questions for Coach? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.